Okay, everyone, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4. So we're going to finish this game in this episode. But before we finish this game, let me show you the grinding that I've been doing. As you guys probably already see, I grinded for the Mayan armor. This armor is spectacular on Edward. It looks great. Not only did I do that, let's go into this real quick. I fully upgraded the Jackdaw. Jackdaw is all the way up. Edward, I didn't get all the swords and pistols, but I will show you something. I did get the pistol swords, which I haven't seen in action yet. And I also got the, where are they at? The golden flintlock pistols, which look amazing, by the way. Very, very happy to get all of that stuff. The Mayan armor, the pistols. I didn't get the rope dart pouches yet because we haven't gotten the rope dart yet. So hopefully we get that soon or maybe I missed out on that. I don't know. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I was supposed to get it. I'm not sure. But what I want to do before we beat this game is I want to fight the legendary ships. I've already defeated one. I'm going to do this one. This one apparently has two ships, not just one. The last one that I did was on the upper left hand corner. It was up over here on the map. So this one's on the upper right, and this is a double ship battle. I'm very nervous about this, but I think we'll be able to do it. I beat the last one on my second try. So let's see what we can do here. All right. Let's do this game. Yo, those ships are crazy. We don't want to get in the middle of those two ships. I feel like that would be really bad. So let's move on this way. Yeah, because they're just going to destroy us if we go in the middle, right? Like, cans are going to be nuts. So let's uh, mortar strike. Hopefully I have enough mortars for this fight. Oh, look, they're already trying to do it. Holy crap. Ah, uh, that's not good. Oh, hopefully we can ram. Can we ram? No, that's fine. Oh, the heavy shot. They weren't in position. All right, let's do that. Maybe another mortar strike. You got to be careful with these mortar strikes right there. Uh, that did all right. Nothing crazy. Maybe one more to this one. Oh my God, those cannons are crazy. All right, this one looks like it's going to try to ram me. Yeah, they're trying to get me in the middle. Let's uh, heavy shot, heavy shot. Come on. There it is. They're going to ram me in the back. Shoot the fire barrels. Nice. Okay. We avoided that. Maybe another mortar strike. Right there. Yes, that was a really good one. All right, they're far away from us now. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I think we got this. All right. We just can't be in between them. I think we'll literally one barrage if we're in the middle. Done. KO. This is as fast as we can go right now. Why are they so far away? Why they drive so far away? All right, let me see if I can get a mortar strike this far. Maybe not. They're pretty fast too on top of that. Okay, this one's turning around. They might try to ram us here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop these. Because they, they focus on avoiding fire barrels, I've noticed. Oh, crap. They're getting me. They are getting me. Oh, brace, brace, brace. Oh, we're getting tore up. Slow down, slow down. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, just let him go past us. All right, that's kind of nerve wracking. We might be able to take out one at least. This might be it. Yeah, it's going to turn around. That's, that's a wrap. Yes. Got him. We need to loot that ship. She's charging at us. Oh, she is. 
And she's hitting our fire barrels. Nice. Fire! We're going to get cooked. Oh. On your mind, come in. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Actually, stopping might have been a bad idea. Oh. Oh, we're going to get cooked. We're going to get cooked. This isn't good. We're in a bad spot. We're in a really bad spot. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't good. They got aggressive. As soon as we destroyed that other ship, they got so aggressive. They were full throttle on our tails. All right, let's try this one more time. Maybe we can get this on the second go. Yeah, this one's going to be tough. We did take out one boat. That was good. And we got the other boat close. We were almost there. I feel like if we would have played that ending a little bit more smart, we could have took on the other boat too. But they were behind me, so I don't I don't know what I could have done there. Getting rammed multiple times probably wasn't good for me. It seemed. All right, they move quick, man. They do not waste time. Look how fast they're going. They're already trying to get me in the middle. That's ridiculous. But are they going to? Stop. Stop. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Ooh. It's okay. Okay, we're behind them now. Dude, ramming them in the back might be the best idea. But I don't know. They're they're a little too quick for that. All right, let's do a mortar strike right there. We got to take out one at least. All right, this one is coming our way. Nice. Ooh, yikes. Maybe another mortar strike. Ah. Uh hit him decently We're ready, sir. all right we need to come all right that one's turning uh hmm we really got to think this one through we're in a good position though because we're behind them we just got to see how they're gonna play out right here uh Okay, the wind's kind of on our side here. Let's see what happens. Okay, you're turning. I'm ready for you. Nice. Oh, they're trying to get me in the middle again. I see it. Go ahead and hit him. Oh, nice. That was a good ram. That was a really good ram. Oh, that might have been the ram that we needed. I think that was beautiful. Let's hit that one. We might get this on the second try, guys. Holy crap. Nope, don't let him ram you. Ram him, ram him, ram him, ram him. Get him, get him, get him. I might not be able to get him. I got him. Yes! Yes! Oh, that was beautiful. We got him. Okay. Oh, they're heavy shotting. Get down. Oh, we're right in their sights. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Perfect. Oh, they're going to try to ram us. Slow down. Oh, that's not good. Got him. Yes. 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 Suck my... Let's go. We did it. We did it. Holy crap on the second try. <gasps> Effortlessly, guys. Dude, if there's more than two ships that you have to fight in the next couple of ones that we have to do, I'm going to be really upset. Like I said, I've already completed one. So I didn't think I was going to beat that at all. I thought we were cooked. I thought I was going to have to do that like multiple times. Wow. We did that beautifully. Wow.
Okay. I'm very proud of myself. I don't think you can fight these can ships without upgrading. I feel like it's impossible. Let's go ahead and uh, get some mortar shot because we're out pretty much and also some heavy shot and we should be good. I also changed the jackdaw's appearance a little bit. Looks really nice. I love the golden cannons. I think that's awesome. I think what's interesting is like our ship is small compared to. Oh, I also changed the wheel. I like this gilded wheel. I think it's really funny that our ship is so small compared to other ships and we're just barreling through them. Like you saw those ships that we just fought right there. They were pretty big. Those weren't many boats. They were big ships. Oh, I keep messing up on. There we go. All right, man, I love this game, man. This game is fantastic. Now, when it comes to the modern story, I'm not as hooked. I'll be honest, I'm really not. I kind of understand what was going on with John. He was trying to put Juno inside of me. And I don't know, like all of the characters that they've shown in the modern day, I'm just not really rocking with them. I am asking questions about um, Rebecca and Sean, because if John is working with them, are they also hey, bad? What's that like, folk? It looks like a sheep. why would they want to help him looks put Juno like in me? Ship. You know? Oi, risen from the dead to sink us. Risen from the dead to sink us, huh? It's a ghost ship. The HMS Prince. Let's do it. It's only one ship, so that's not bad. Oh, they're about to mortar us. Stop. Don't go in that. That looks bad. Whoa. Okay. Let's throw some fire barrels down. Whoa. Whoa. This one's doing some damage. Yeah, you can't take many of those, huh? Yep, we're about to hit hit. Be careful. Give me some speed. Give me some speed. Let's turn it around. I'm trying to not get hit by those mortars. Slow down a little bit. Yeah, this one is... It's testing your... Your steering ability here. Oh, yes. You're about to get rammed. Go, 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 go. Ram them, ram them. Oh, nice. Stop, stop, stop. Let's cook them. This is a bad spot to be, but I guess not. Maybe it's the best spot to be. Who knows? Keep going, keep going. Ram them again. No, I think this is the best spot to be. We're getting them, y'all. Jeez. Oh my god. Holy, we destroyed this ship. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Yo, we are the kings of the sea, let me tell you. That was wonderful. That was beautifully done. That was a good ram. We were really controlling the wheel there, making sure we weren't getting hit by the mortars. You got to slow down, speed up, slow down, speed up. It just depends on where the mortars are going to land. All right. We got one more ship and then we can do the uh, main story.
story. What can I do for you today? Ooh. That's tough. Done. All the best. Stop a moment. I can but like I was saying, the modern story. <sighs> I've been reading your guys' comments and really piecing together things, reading the sticky notes and stuff, and I have to say the way the story is presented in the modern day isn't fun. It's not fun. And it doesn't feel like Assassin's Creed to me. It's really stale. It feels like it has no heart. It feels kind of just thrown in there. You know when you have an essay and like you wrote out the essay, you've typed everything up and you look at the characters on the bottom of the screen and you're like, dang, I'm short like 200 characters. And you start going back in your essay and just kind of like filling things in. Like, <laughs> that's how I feel with the modern day. It's like they they had the story laid out. They were good. They were like, yeah, this is what we're doing with the Animus events. And then they're like, all right. Yeah, now that we have the Animus events and Edward's story written out, let's just fill in a story <laughs> in between. <laughs> Just because we need to meet our quota and that's just how we've been doing these Assassin's Creed games. It feels like a quota What the heck? Whoa Those Spanish ships are really strong though. We got to be careful. Oh Y'all are the kings of the mortars apparently. I'm going this way We're going in for the kill Let's ram them. They're playing around, but I'm not. Oh, they're shooting mortars like right on top of themselves. That's dumb. Not a good move. Slow down. Can they shoot mortars this way? Yeah, they kind of can. Yeah, they are. Definitely shooting these mortars here. Oh, the cannons are coming soon. Huh? Fire! They don't seem to be taking damage, though. Fire! Nah, they're not. Okay, maybe mortars on Fire! them. Fire! Two mortars again. They get hurt by the mortars and by ramming. They just don't get affected by the broadside cannons or the heavy shots. All right, we got to definitely change our game plan on this one. Let's avoid their mortar. Yeah, let's ram them right in the back. Oh, that's bad for them. Let's get them. Let's get them. Let's get them. You got him. Yeah. Stick to him like glue. Stick to him like glue. Keep ramming him. I got this, boys. Don't trip. I did it. Holy crap. We just destroyed all the legendary ships. Wow. Holy crap. I have the charge attack allows you to temporarily speed up the jackdaw to ram an enemy ship with more strength hold l2 while looking forward and then tap x to charge double tap holy oh <laughs> bro that's broken oh my god that is so broke that is ridiculous Wow. Okay. Well, we did it, guys. All right. Let's move on over to Tulum, I do believe. And that is where our main story is. This is also where I got the, uh, the Mayan armor. Hopefully, I'll be able to finally use my pistol swords. Wow. I can't believe we beat those that quick. 
That was easy. What's going on here? Everything is permitted. Addy, talk to me. Jesus, Addy, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to Yikes. call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable cause. I respect that. Have I been unfair? No. Yeah. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Oof. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. Wow, but that's deep. He lost a lot, man. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Salute to you, Edward. A changed man. Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's mm. quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. Same. I agree. Finally. There's the rope dart. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. Oh, he's supposed to put his hood on there. I just noticed that it doesn't have a hood. That's kind of sucky. Yep, we already know this. Yep, we know that too. All right, before I do that, can I craft my pouches? Yes, sir. Fully crafted? 100%. Oh! Okay. That's no good. Oh, I know that hurt. Oh, get my sword back. <laughs> Bro, my first counter with him, the finishing move blew that guy's guts off right out of his body. Too bad I didn't actually really get to see it. Oh, this guy is shooting? Oh, can I not? Oh, cause they're... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Alright, just, just jump. Let's just fight him. They had already seen us, apparently. Get him. Nice. Oh. 
All right, we got to counter him. Ooh, there it is. Good job. Oh! <laughs> wow. Why is that so cool? Boom. These are fun to use. They're not realistic, that's for sure, but they're fun. And I'm all about fun over realism any day. I don't want to use my hidden blades. Move. Oh, we're doing amazing. Oh. Shoot him. No. Okay. Maybe that's a little too brutal. What? These guys didn't hear or something? Didn't get the memo? Hello. Oh, we're surrounded. That's not good. That's why we have these. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Ooh. Very, very lovely. Hi. Surrounded again? That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, we got to go kill the captain, apparently. Hey, yo. Oh, he came out of nowhere. Hi. see me somebody mentioned that my stealth has been lacking in this game compared to the other games and i'm not gonna lie it has and the reason being is i don't know i don't feel like an assassin really i just kind of go in and i'm a pirate so i just go in guns blazing i mean the gameplay is just so good to the point where it's like why why not you know? Look at them. They're just looking up here. They don't know what's going on. Hi. Ouch. You know, sometimes you can't counter. And I find that kind of annoying. No, sir. I'll let him shoot. Boom! We killed their captain. Yanumuk Awoyetel Abishan. And once more, you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting out, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. I don't think she's going to make it. She might die, too. I don't think she'll make it through labor. I'm sorry. Oh, the baby's gone? If I'd Completely? Seen the that taken him from me, he'd never be alive. Wow. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. 
In prison. I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. Aww. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were and passed out in the hold from drink. Edward. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary. Raccoon. Touch. All the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. Aww. That will curse me. That's horrible. At least they get to bond. It's not the best thing to bond about, but I feel bad for both of them. Losing all of their friends, all the people that were close to them, and family. She lost her baby. That's terrible. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our bureaus and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Aww. Quartermaster. Ah. Due west, Captain. If it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Way anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. I love it. That is my quartermaster for sure. She deserves to be. Bark so loud. I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... <laughs> did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. Aww. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. Really? I have no worries about that. Well. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. Yes. Very good to hear. I think Tobai um, mentioned something about assassins and contracts. Or assassins being all over the world in every city. I don't know if I'm going to do those missions, to be honest. I'm kind of missioned out. I feel like it's time for me to just beat the game. Oh, we're not that far away from Kingston. We're good. I've done so many missions. I've sailed around. I've gone underwater. I've, you know, gone into ruins, killed so many people to get these armors, the guns, the upgrades for the ship. It was all worth it, let me tell you. I love that we can hear her voice now. That's awesome. You know, when I was doing all of the grinding, I would hear Adewale sometimes. <laughs> and he wasn't on the ship. But his voice was there. It was hilarious.
We're here. Let's go in. Let's see what happens. I still haven't done the tavern missions though. I don't know why I haven't done them. I guess I was so like tunnel visioned on getting the equipment. I really wanted the guns. I really wanted the swords and the armor. A governor low longer. Captain Kenway. You have something for me. The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to <laughs> fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway. Hawkins <gasps> Lane, Bristol. Aww. Okay, that is breaking my immersion every time he tries to put the hood on. <laughs> Hey, why did he put those weapons down, bro? You know how hard I had to work for those? There he is. He say, va bene. Mr. Italian. Where is he going? There is no beauty to this city. No expression of joy. No aesthetic plan. Uh, that sounds like Ezio. Like animals. Like cattle with no sense of decorum. Is that Roger Craig Smith? It sounds like him. It sounds exactly like Ezio's voice. Whoa, wait, I got detected? What the heck? Alrighty then. Fine, I guess. I mean, if that's his voice, that's a nice little uh, callback. There is no beauty to this city, no expression of joy, no aesthetic plan. Uh, you walk your streets like animals, like cattle with no sense of decorum. Not wrong, I guess. I mean, it's because I knocked that guy over with the barrel in his hand. That might have been it. Idiots. You are all idiots. How do English believe you can subdue the world is beyond me. Ezio's kind of mean. Uh oh, it looks like he's going into a restricted area. Ah, praise God for imported wine. Okay. So I have no weapons whatsoever. You can drink rum more than once a month. It's revolting. Master. 
Yeah, rum sucks. He's right. Oh, crap. Uh, it's like right when I got into that tree, that guy saw me. All right, let me see if I can kill him here. Got him. Oh, my armor, my good armor. I'm mad I couldn't at least keep my rope darts. That would have been nice. I know I had to give away my sword and my gun so I can get the disguise, but I thought I'd at least have my rope darts. I am Ruggiero Ferraro. Hi, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Yo, his Italian accent. <laughs> I'm out. That's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as governor of the Bahamas. Oh. For under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the king off and brought guilty to the crown. And yet, for all my success. Oh my God, y'all are getting busy. See now this feels like Assassin's Creed This is the first time where I'm like Oh my god I feel like an assassin Because now I am faintest idea and I'd only tend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago and both our lives have been the better for it. <laughs> Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be shut her up real quick. Later, when the remainder of my reason has left. Oh, he's coming this way? Oop. Oh yeah, he's coming this way. Where is he going though? And where is there a haystack? Damn shame about your dismissal, Rogers. You had my confidence. Still do. I could kill him right now. It's not a done deal by any means. When the king hears my complaints, I'm sure he'll come to a more sensible conclusion. Perhaps I'll be more candid later when the remainder of my reason has left. Come on. Hey, aren't you? No. Yeah, he's coming this way. He's coming this way. We got him. Yes. Hey, that guy saw me. He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage, yes. And you would. All for a greater purpose. To ensure justice, to snuff out lies, and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Nope. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. 
He's not gonna do that. He'd rather die. Here at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. Okay, I gotta escape the area. Oh no. Not the Italian. Oh, there's a guy over here too. <gasps> Another guy. going to shoot me. No, I'm not. I don't have my smoke bombs either. All right, we made it out. That felt like original Assassin's Creed for a minute there. No weapons or anything. Just your hidden blades. It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. Nice. All right, so let's make it back to the Jackdaw. And actually, can I just fast travel there? Yeah, I can. Oh, no, I can't. All right, well, we'll fast travel here. And from there, we'll sail out. It's time to find my good friend and take him out once and for all. Captain, here's one still kicking. Who did this? It were a large vessel, the Royal Fortune. Roberts offered no quarter, didn't say nothing. All right, here we are. Oh, I think I know where he is. This is the restricted area. Oh my God, that bird is missing its wings. <laughs> What an awesome graphical glitch. All right, I'm just going to swim past these guys. Oh, there's somebody up ahead. Actually, there's a couple people up ahead. But I have my pistols back, so. Dear Lord. That was cool. He lost me. Dang, he just walked away, I guess. They're looking for me, but... Oh, they almost got me right there. Wow, they just shot him like it was nothing. That guy's going in. All right, he's dead. Never mind. I'm scared to move out because they're all right here.
That was close. Can I jump? <gasps> no, that didn't work. Crap. Can I do that again? Maybe I just didn't hit it at the right angle. It looks like I can go right here. No, you can't. Oh, well, I kind of did it anyway. All right, then. Can I jump on that? Yes, sir. Uh, where are my rope darts? Right there. Hello. Why? Who chases me now, eh? Is it a spectre come to spook me? Ah, or the gaunt remains of a man I sent to hell? Let's move those guys away from me so I can go over here. Where is he? He's not up ahead. <gasps> oh, that's no good. Oh, that's no good. Oh, wow. I'm about to die. Run, 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 run. Jump in here. Okay, that was close. Almost died there. You know, I think another reason why my stealth isn't as good as like some of the other games is like since the Assassin's Creed games are more open, it's a little bit harder to tackle some of these areas like it was a little easier in the older games because I felt like the areas were a little bit more tighter you know but I feel like with these open areas there's like so much that you can do there's so many places that you can go and apparently they just saw me okay then Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's the jackdaw. I'm coming, I'm coming. I think he was supposed to see you. So you can initiate this sequence here. Oh my God. Do I have to tail him? Do you want me to fight him? Okay, I gotta fight him. Oh, but we got the ram. Oh. No, stop. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was about to end his boat's life right there. That would have been really bad for him. Man, that mortar fire is nothing. You know how many legendary ships I've fought? Come on now. We got a fully upgraded Jackdaw. That mortar fire is just like throwing peanuts at us. You might as well throw peanuts at us. Oh, this guy is cooked. Ah, they're throwing all those at us. Never mind. 
fire barrels are nuts. All right, let's just use a mortar. All right, they don't want me to cheese this, apparently. That's fine. Thought I'd be able to. There's a lot of other ships out there. Yeah, I see that. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> Shall we sink his ship, Captain? With a better than even chance. No. There's a device with him that needs taking. I'll have to board her myself. Man the guns! There's more fodder for you coming. But they want me to use the rope darts on him? Oh, you know I will. All right, I'm not even going to try to use a swivel gun because it's a tall ship and it's always hard to shoot anything from down here. Like right there. Look, you can't even aim up. That'd be kind of funny if I killed him with a swivel cannon. By the attention you paid me. May the best of we two sing praises of the second. Is he just going to stay far back and try to shoot me? Maybe not. Try it. Why? I want to get him with the rope dart. Let's see if I can do it. you Edward have you found the peace you seek I'm not aiming so high as that but what's peace but a confusion between two wars oh, oh you're a stoic then but perhaps I was wrong about you she might have had some use for you after all she of whom do you speak oh she who lies in wait entombed Juno I had hoped to find her to see her again to Open the door of the temple and hear her speak my name once more. I talk sense, man. Oh, I was born too soon. Like so many others before. Where's the device, Robert? Uh, 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 destroy this body, Edward. The Templars. If they take me. Is he about to throw him into the water? Or is he actually going to bury him? That's respectful. That's the first time he's done that. I guess the way I did it isn't the way they wanted me to do it. Maybe they wanted me to like actually like hang him or something. But it's funner to board and just attack them. Okay, we're back. Let's see. We need to go here. Do you want me to go back to Havana?
I know you can fast travel to the viewpoints, but I just want to run there. Why not? Oh, it's right around this corner. Oh, yeah, this isn't a good place for me to be. It's all red. Who is this? Tainted blood. Ah, Captain Kenway. Hello. This is the friendliest face you've seen since dropping anchor. Is Havana under curfew on my account? I mm, Tora seems to think someone's coming after him. Oh, he's not wrong. Not wrong. A right. looking thing. Is that what I think it is? Aye. Watch. Through the blood of the governor, we can see through his eyes. That's that's by the church. It's like the apple. It's really cool. Keep it's cooler shit. than the apple. It's a skull. Just in case. I'll be at the bureau. Good luck. Ah. Uh, hey, he was kind of feeling her. Why would he give that to her though? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just give. We're just giving anybody the the crystal skull. Then yeah, sure. inside let's try going up to the roof This feels very familiar. I thought there would be some kind of opening or something up here, but I guess not. Oh wait, there he is. Oh, we gotta tail him. Let's see where they end up going. Ouch, that kind of hurt. What the heck's going on over there? That doesn't look good. Yikes. 
¡Cállate! Bien, continuemos. Vosotros, seguidnos. Y esta vez no vayáis a meter la... One smoke bomb and all of them are cooked. <laughs> Oh crap. These guys don't make my life easy. Can I kill him? Okay, they didn't hear that. Good. Oh, they're like heavily guarded up here. Oh, this guy too. Oh, there's stuff going on down there. Oh, crap. I'm running out of sleep darts here. Is he going in there? Oh my God, we could have killed him by now. Now what are we going to do? These guys are shooting over there. Isn't there a way by the water? Over here? Okay, we got to be really careful here. Okay, that's that guy. Where is this guy in here? Get him. Two guys up ahead. Perfect. Okay, we gotta be careful here. There's a guy right above me. Gotta hop into this window here. Be careful. Guy on the other side of this. Yes, sir. Hit him. All right, let's do this again. Woo! Gotta be very careful here. Let's get this guy. Oh. Didn't see that guy. But it's okay. He didn't fully see me, so we're all right. Oh, that was scary. Nice. This is the end of the road right here. 
nothing we can do in here. Okay, so let's let's go back. We got to go up, but we got to be careful with this guy over here. So we did have to go up over here. Make sure he doesn't see us. Is there anyone up here? Yeah, there's a couple people. Ooh. Let's get him. All right, we're actually doing stealth this time, guys. This is nice. Okay, let's play it safe than sorry. Might be able to corner kill this guy. Maybe. Let's not risk it. He sees a dead body, so we're going to kill him. Oh, crap. There's a guy right there. All right, let's, uh, oh, I can't. Okay. That's fine. I kind of got an idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. We might need to go on the other side. Oh, I don't have any rope darts. Crap. My idea is not going to work then. Unless. Ah, he just went inside. Oh. Get him. Got him. Yes. You're done, Torres. <gasps> it's a trap. This again, eh? All right, let's do it. Uh oh, we're surrounded. You're a oh, close. that doesn't affect him. My trick, it doesn't work. How about a little gunplay? Oh, that's true. Pistol shot, I reckon. Oh, get him. Jeez. Ah. All right, let's be careful. <laughs> I can't reload my pistols. I was in an animation, so we're good. Oh, I can't trip him. What? Oh, nice! I don't know how I did that, but I did it. If you could speak, mate, it would gladden me to hear your side. You humbled me once, and I took that hard lesson, and I bettered myself. Die, knowing that for all of our conflict, you help make a soldier out of a scoundrel. Leave this life for a lasting peace. Down among the dead. Let's go. <laughs> I'm awesome. Oh. Oh, I juked him. I'm breaking ankles out here. <laughs> I am legitimately breaking ankles. I'm like a running back. That man tough for me, I said. <laughs> I'm playing Madden 25 out here. <laughs> That's crazy.
Oh, this is ridiculous. How far does the area go? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Where does it want me to go? Let's go. Okay, we got to become anonymous now. I'm going to just hide in the water. Nice. That worked. Get up there. Oh, we did what we came to do. We killed the big bodyguard guy, but we didn't get... Torres. So that was hilarious, though. That literally looked like I was playing Madden for a second. <laughs> oh my god. That's why I like the running in this game. Ever since they updated it in Assassin's Creed 3. It's the running is just so much better. We got word Taurus left the city. Who were you chasing? That vial was labeled Taurus, but held the blood of his second. Where's he gone? Left port this morning, heading west along the coast. The observatory. Will we follow? Uh oh. Send word to Atabai. We've cornered our man. Let's go. You know where he's at? I just wish the game was a little bit more polished. That'd be nice. I mean, it's not even the combat itself. It's also the sound design. Like, the music's great, right? The game sounds great. What's this Taurus doing looking for the observatory? When you're holding the treasure yourself. Torres doesn't know I have it. So why bring it to him and risk its capture? I'd like him to know I have it. Ah, that's smart. Um, so what I was saying is there's times where you'll kill people and the sound doesn't kick in. Oh, uh, why did I do this? The sound doesn't kick in at all. You'll hear no sound. It'll be literally mute. And you're like, I'm pretty sure I just sliced that guy up. Why did I not hear the guy get sliced? And it happens a lot. And it's not just me. Because I watched some other Assassin's Creed videos and I saw it in that in their videos too. I, the Amada. That's Torres and his men. And you're going to do what exactly? Find our way past them. You know what? Before we do that, can we buy stuff real quick? Um I need to go to a city. Let's go to Kingston. And buy ammunition and stuff. But yeah, if they just uh, clean some stuff up, I'd be happy. I'm really curious to see what that remake is going to be like. Because seeing this game with updated everything and like completely polished up. Ooh, this game could be in the running for game of the year for sure. The remake could be in the running for game of the year. Whenever that does drop. I hope they don't change too much though. Like I don't want to see like the RPG gameplay incorporated in this game like at all. I feel like that would really ruin the game. I think they should leave that alone. Like keep the game how it is. Just polish everything up nicely. And I think everyone would be happy with that. We need to go here. Isn't that where the mission was? Why did it disappear off the map? Okay. Okay, here we go. I, the Amada. That's Torres and his men. And you're going to do what exactly? Find our way past them. Like, you want me to stealth with the ship? 
Or can I just go guns a blazing? No pun intended. Because I'm going to tell you right now, ain't none of these ships messing with me. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and attack me. I don't care about those hunter ships. Those things are trash. Oh, won't let me go that way. Cool. Y'all are cooked, bro. Let me tell you. Okay, I'm not even. Oh, dang. Oh, they're actually putting up a fight. <laughs> I said they're actually putting up a fight. Yeah, okay. I mean, I could board them, but you know what? Screw them. Motor fire. Good job. Uh, let's do it again. Okay, that's BS. Look at them. They're sniping with their little cannons. I need to go in there. Let's just take him out. No, no. Oh, okay. Now you want me to fight you? Bro, I'm just ramming you, bro. Stupid. What was that? Let's do it. I can't believe they actually tried to ram into me. Can you believe that? Ain't no way. They tried me for a second there. Taurus. And what's your mind on to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence you'd cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy, deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like if there was a drought and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water but gave a sip to none, he'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. Very colorful way to put that. I like it. We're freeing the guardian hostages this time. Wow. That makes me happy. Oh, she's coming with me. Nice. No, they're here. Deep in the jungle. Gotta use the trees. Jeez, look at all this. Corpses for miles. They brought every ounce of menace they had. Aw, poor guy. Oh my God. <gasps> Aw, they're killing the guardians. Oop. Oh. 
Oh, it went away. They're burning something out here. Oh, the whole village. What the heck? What a bunch of idiots, let me tell you. Coming in. Oh, no! Are they gonna die? Wow. Oh, maybe not. Well, one of them did. The other one survived. Got him. Is he pointing at me? Yeah. Oh, she killed him. Nice. Where do we need to go? I totally forgot the way around here. I think this way. We're getting close. So strange. What is this? Later, on. I'll tell you all when this is finished. Am I... Am I seeing a connection here? Is he going to fall in love with Anne? I know he has Caroline back at home, but... I don't know. Maybe that chapter's closed. Oh, what the heck? This is cool. Right. Stand watch here and let none follow. I'm kind of worried to leave her by herself, but okay. <gasps> oh, they're getting wrecked. They activated the trap, huh? The booby traps. Oh, jeez. What the heck? What is going on here? Get on that one. It's like a puzzle in the sky.
think I need to wait for it to go up. Oh yeah, right there. Go. No. Oh, okay. That's that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Parkour almost messed up there. Oh! Little worrisome. Little worrisome. Yeah, it looks like you have the booby trap. A dead man? <laughs> oh. Ah, that's cool. Oh. Oh. I need to go on the other side? Okay, so I made it. I had to come over here. All right, let's try this. All right, it looks like I need to go straight up this time. Don't go right. Go up, go up, go up, go up. There we go. Now we should be able to go this way. Alright, be careful. Jump across. Alright, we gotta do a back eject here. Cool. I think I need to wait for this. There it is. I love how there's a puzzle for me to kill him. We could have worked together, Edward. We could have taken power for ourselves and brought these miserable empires to their knees. There is so much potential in you. Potential in me? So much you have not yet accomplished. I could show you things. Mysteries beyond anything that you could imagine. I like hearing him beg. I mean, I'm coming over there soon, bro. Give me a second. Probably on the next go. Yeah, here it goes. Oh. He, oh. He didn't put up a fight. Captain Kenway. Ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. Do you honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison safe and sober yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit so i with everything i've seen and learned in these last years i do believe it you wear your convictions well they suit you Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this? Nice. Captain Kenway's folly.
It's a wall to sue to kill her. Can't win it. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were vials when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. Oh, he really is gonna go back home for her. Cool. Oh, wait. It arrived last week. It's probably not good. Yikes. That's not a good face. Oh, man. Heart completely broken, shattered to pieces. Wakey, wakey. Ah. Oh. I don't believe we've been formally introduced. Not in this era, anyway. <laughs> I wish I could explain all this strangeness, but there isn't much time. The short of it is, you saw my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body. Is he going to poison me? But something went wrong. And now she's back out there adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. One of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that your people were tools to them? That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. I see that skull shirt you got on. What is that necklace? Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Oh. Stay down. Get is he going to die? Now. He's got a gun. Guide me into the grave, beloved. I am your instrument. Put the gun down. Drop it. Drop your weapon. Oh, you idiot. Clear. Clear. Check his vitals. He's bleeding. Yeah, he Check was part of that group. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. You all right? They talked about it on one of the notes. Okay, then. There you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? So she saved me? Good. Try walking around. I'm walking. I'm walking. A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. Oh, that's good. And convenient. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. I guess so. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. Okay. Where pirates rule the waves. These men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed. Everyone to is rum. committed to rum. Plunder. <laughs> and women. Hola, ladies. This summer, 
Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated. Oh, wow. That was pretty bad. Like, did you get the same guy who voiced the Mighty Number no. 9 trailer to voice that? Because, ew. True Templar is dedicated to order and stability and peace through the application of her iron will will not through the dulling satisfaction of pleasure and indolence. Oh, man. Uh, and, well, what now? Talk, you idiot. Look at the light. Isn't that the battery? I think that's the battery. Hello? Hello? Ah. <clears throat> Look, sorry about this. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, back there <laughs> is Rebecca, my partner uh, in crime. Hello? Bloody good work earlier. Honestly, I mean it. Delivering us all that data. It's really just too bad that our man on the inside was such a, um, <laughs> uh, how, how, how to put it? Fanatic. Fanatic. Fanatic is the best word, I suppose. We take who we can get. Exactly, exactly. Well put. Uh, we saw in John an opportunity to burrow deeper into Stergo's cloud servers and are not... He did good. We took it, uh, not realizing, of course, that he was enlisting you to help him. And to blame, should anything go wrong. I suppose it all worked out very nicely in the end. Most of it, anyway. What Sean really wants to say is, if you're up for more hacking, we are too. John gave you level 3 security clearance before you died. You should use it. The assassins don't have the resources to pay you like the Templars do, but we'll make it worth your while. Ah, uh, look, we should really cut it short, Bex. 20 seconds. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. And top-notch work. Really top -notch. Give yourself a pat on the back. And happy hacking. <laughs> I love that they're back though. That's good. So they were working with him, but he ended up being a fanatic, a maniac, a crazy man. So I guess they are still good, which is good. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us, but our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Benla had once counseled. Yes. Until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. I wonder if he does that. There's Anne. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. And my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! Okay. Fair enough. There it is. You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father, too. Okay, hold on. Of all the money that ever I have, I spent it in good come and all the harm that ever I done. 
don't do this to me. And all I've done for want of a wit to memory now I can't. So let me Excuse me? Did they just drop a bomb? <laughs> Hold on. We're not done. Oh, we're sailing for real. Sailing for England. Oh my God. I hope they don't claim this song. They might. It's so beautiful. That was pretty. Baba, did you always know how to sail a boat? The jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. <laughs> but did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always Ooh. talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lot. To support us. To take care of her. And you. Not me. That is Mother true. said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year and that she never knew where to find you. Ooh. That's all true and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier. I might have come home. Aww. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but that wouldn't have mattered. Can I steal your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why, That's then, true. Everything is a ship, large and small. But for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a clever way of seeing it. It's so this would be Connor's about aunt. Caroline, Jenny, about your mother. And this is Haytham's half sister. Because they have a different mother. It's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. Jeez. I... I'm sorry. That's terrible. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Now only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Mm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. 
As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> That's adorable. He really is a, go a good father. I didn't believe Anne when she said that. I was like, oh, she means like in the future. But no, she meant right now. <laughs> Oh my god. Is this the same theater where we started in Assassin's Creed 3? Where Haytham was? Look, she's older now. <clears throat> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. Ooh. I'm sorry. I, I, uh, my daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. There this he is. Oscar, however, is a Kenway. Half sisters. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. Jennifer is his half sister. How's that? That's Father, crazy. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate at White's. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Who did he have Haytham with, though? Who's the mother of Haytham? I should look that up. That was crazy, though. We, we completed it. We completed Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And it was great from start to finish. I'm going to look this up real quick. Atham Kenway mother. Tessa. Man, that was a crazy journey. I can't believe we finished the game. I can even upgrade my my house here. My whole place. I can actually use my money for it. To do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower run fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. I don't know what you just said. Speak in English, please. <laughs> Wait, we can upgrade this. You done an old salt proud, Captain. That's really cool. Let's go over here. Got an ear for me, Captain. I'll not play duck and drake with you, Captain. I need coin to build a little emporium. I'd be ever obliged. And a local hey, we got you. Many a Don't worry. You as repayment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look how much money I got. Because <laughs> I beat all those legendary ships and they just gave me a ton of money. Go around and upgrade my whole hideout. A good captain. He takes care of his men. Yes. The sailors are a peu dissatisfied that there are no women of comfort here. I know just where to find them, but we need to build them a home. We need those women. I will watch a video on this game story just to kind of fill in the gaps, Thank you. especially for the modern day story. I'll probably watch a video on that and see it explained. Just so when I go into Freedom Cry and also Rogue, I'm not like completely confused and like, what's happening here? You know? So I'll definitely do that tomorrow night. Brush up on the story and then start playing Freedom Cry. Is there anything else I can upgrade? Oh, my actual base. My house up here. Let's go. All right, let's go in here. Let's see what it can look like now. Edward, I thought you were supposed to be in England. This still doesn't quite feel like home. No, it doesn't. That's why we're going to upgrade it. Now it feels like home. Oh, that's beautiful. I love plantation homes. Can we do it again? Still missing a little something. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Now, what could I add to make it perfect? How much is it? 40 grand. Yeah, is that it? Fully upgraded manor. You gotta love it, boys. 
That is definitely awesome. Got a guest house and everything here. All right. So we're completely done with the game. Like I said, I'm going to watch a video to kind of like brush up on some of the things that I missed. Have that stuff explained to me. So when I walk into Freedom Cry, Rogue, all of those games, I'm not completely confused. But I wanted to go ahead and drop my thoughts on this game real quick. I needed to kind of like compile as the credits were rolling. I was like, let me let me go ahead and gather all my thoughts real quick. How did I feel about this game? And I'd have to say that Assassin's Creed 4 is amazing. Um, when it comes to ranking the games, I would say Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed 3 next. I would probably put Revelations under that, and then I would put Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah, so Assassin's Creed 4 would be my fourth favorite currently right now. Um, that is subject to change in the near future. We'll see because the track record of the next games aren't too good other than Origins and Odyssey. Those two games I hear a lot of good things about when it comes to Syndicate, Unity, Rogue, Valhalla, Mirage. It's a mixed bag for all of those games, okay? There's some people who are like huge major fans of them. There's some people who really hate those games and won't watch anything on them and won't play them. So we'll just have to see when we get there. Um, yeah, these games are really polarizing <laughs> and divisive in the fan base from what I've gathered, um, just seeing your guys' comments and such. So I'd have to say, I wish this game was a little bit more polished. I feel like the combat at times, not the naval combat, but the ground combat when you're actually controlling Edward is a little clunky. It's a little rickety. You know what I mean? It's that it's that bike that you have that you ride and you can hear the creaking and you're like, man, it needs a little bit of WD-40 real quick to get rid of that squeak. <laughs> That's how I feel. That's how I feel with Assassin's Creed 4. It needs a little WD-40. It's a little squeaky. It's a little creaky. It's a little rickety. Okay. So when they do come out with a remake, hopefully they do touch on that and uh, add that WD-40. But other than that, I really liked the naval combat. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing. I feel like these games, and I notice it in this game the most, they need to start switching it up with the enemy types because the game is just way too easy from start to finish. You're literally fighting the same enemy types the entire game. You're fighting the captain. You're fighting the big guy. Then you have the little speedy guy. Then you have the normal unit and rinse and repeat, right? And you know how to fight all of them by the end and it's not hard at all. I wish there was more of a mix up there. I feel like there's not like a huge jump between three and four, you know, I really liked what happened between one and two. One and two felt like a major improvement, right? And then you had all those small games after two that each of them just was like a tweak better. You know what I mean? It, it just tweaked that two formula a little bit. And then you got to Assassin's Creed three and it tried to mix things up a, a lot. And then you get to Assassin's Creed four. And other than the naval combat, they really played it safe here, right? The ground combat with Edward Kenway is very, very safe. It feels like Assassin's Creed 3, but very unpolished. <laughs> very unpolished. So they, they just need to clean that up. And I would say that if they do that, this game, when the remake comes out, could be game of the year depending on what games are also coming out that year. But I feel like a lot of people would love a remake of this game and would buy it and would probably cherish it if they just cleaned this game up. It could be my favorite Assassin's Creed game at that point. It could beat two. It could beat three at that point. I just can't score this game higher than two and three because I really do feel like the gameplay really hurt it. Other than the ship combat. The ship combat was amazing. 
Um, I loved the detail in it. I loved being able to shoot the broadside cannons and then the weak point appears and then you got to use the swivel gun and then you got your mortars and you have fire barrels and you can ram into boats. That's all very fun and very cool. I loved it. And by the end of it, I felt like I mastered it. And I feel like that was a rewarding feeling, you know, because in the beginning I was like shooting the sails and stuff. And people in the comment section were like, hey, you need to stop shooting the sails, shoot the hull. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm my bad. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know. I promise I'm going to get good guys. And, you know, by the end of the game, here we are mastering it. And like I said, it's rewarding when you actually get good at the ship combat. You're like, man, this is good. You actually feel like the king of the pirates, like some Luffy stuff, some One Piece stuff. It's amazing. But yeah, other than that, that's my thoughts on Assassin's Creed 4. I just wish it had some WD-40. It needs to be cleaned up a lot. I mean, they could have remastered this game, to be honest. If they remastered this game and cleaned up the game a lot, I think it would have been fine. It still would have been good. I don't really think it needed a whole remake, but a remake would be nice. <laughs> I definitely am excited for a remake. But uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching this Let's Play of Assassin's Creed 4, following it from start to finish. I know this one was a little bit rough because I started it before Christmas and the Christmas break kind of screwed me up, right? Because here I am recording this and Batman at the same time and... What happened was Assassin's Creed 4 was really hard to record because I didn't have much time to play because I had to do all this Christmas stuff. I had to go Christmas shopping and hang out with family and friends and do this and do that. So the little bit of time that I had recording, I was like, man, Batman or Assassin's Creed and Batman was just easier, right? It was just quicker for me to just pick up the controller, hit record and start playing and traverse through the story. You know what I mean? With Assassin's Creed 4, I would have to sit down and grind and really get into the combat and do all the side stuff and collect this and collect that. And that takes time, right? And recording each time just wasn't possible during Christmas. So I probably should have waited a little bit before I continued playing the game um, before I started Assassin's Creed 4. I think I should have just waited until after Christmas and started like on New Year's or a little bit after New Year's, but it's fine. You know, it happens. We still beat it. Here we are July 6th or January 6th. And we're look, I'm in the future right now, January 6th and we're done with it. So that makes me happy. At least I was able to pick up the slack eventually. And yeah, with the other games, I really hope we could just continue to stay consistent now that it's the new year. And that is kind of my goal. I don't really have any New Year's goal for my channel. Like my my goal for last year was hit 100K. I hit 100K and it's like, we're almost at 150. And I'm just like, what do I do now? I guess my goal at this point is just to con continue to be consistent, beat games, I guess stream more. I wanna stream on Twitch more. And that's about it. Like, I don't really have any other goals. I feel like I have hit all the milestones that I really care about. I know people go, oh, well, don't you want to hit half a million, one million? Eh, I don't really care that much. My goal was really to just build a community and have a community support me and me be able to entertain that community. And we hit that at 100K because I thought at 100K, at that point, you have a community, right? That's a huge cluster of people watching your channel, right? So at that point, I was like, well, now that we've hit that, I mean, we've surpassed it now. We're almost at 150K. It's like, <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm, I'm just going to keep putting out videos and uh, be consistent and just see where that goes, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Have a great day. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Comment down below any tips or advice that you have for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.